This opening ceremonies is magical. This is pure magic. Just the displays, the First Nation displays, uh, Terry, Kelly, and the other singers singing the national anthem. It all seems to come together in this magical, mystical pattern. Walking into a stadium with this type of crowd, you can't help but feel the energy. But you also can't help but feel the butterflies because here you are, an athlete far from your home country, on display to a completely foreign audience. And I think that will make anybody nervous, but at the same time, uh, proud. Proud to be representing your country, proud to be walking into this stadium, proud to be ready to compete and to do what you're doing over the next several days. Wherever you go, wherever you go. This is the ultimate of events, the Paralympics. You representing your country in front of the world. And I challenge each and every one of you to dig deep within yourselves and to find that spark, that competitive edge, that drive, that drive for excellence that will make you the best, make yourself proud, your family proud, and your country proud. I'd also like to thank Acer for doing what they have done because as an athlete having traveled away from home, I know what it feels like to be in a strange foreign place with no connection to the folks, to friends and family back home. But with the setup of the computers in the village, the athletes village, Acer has made that more of a connection so that athletes can communicate with their friends and family, not have to feel so alone and so detached from the rest of the world. That's a gift.